Hello everyone and welcome back to Animation Pilgrimage, the show where Sean and I take a look at every single theatrically released animated film in chronological order. I'm Tenille. I'm Sean. Today we are looking at the 1971 film, The Poor Miller and the Kitten. Yes. Is the best translation I think we have of that title? Sure. Yeah. This was given to us by... Redway 2. Redway 2. Thank you, Redway 2, for giving us this film. Uh, if I said the wrong person, I'll put the right name on the list right now, but I'm fairly certain it's Redway 2. Either way, thank you so much thank for you. finding this. Indeed. Uh, so this is an East Germany film. Yeah. Uh, because... Correct me if I'm wrong, this is the point in time where yes. Germany is split in half, right? Yes. Okay. Which is why it's an East Germany film. Yeah, as compared to just a German film. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so this is an East Germany film. Mm hmm The version that we were able to find eventually by Red by Two has been awkwardly dubbed in Russian. <laughs> so, like, the regular <laughs> audio's there, but every time someone speaks... There's like a guy and a gal that just voice every character and they just voice louder over the other audio. Yeah. And then on top of that, we have the snarkiest, sar most sarcastic uh, English subs. On They're not YouTube. the. I've seen snarkier. Okay, it's but true. But the <laughs> if you've ever looked at a dub online and you've had some. Some sassy MF <laughs> doing the subs. You know what to expect with this. Mm -hmm. They're adding their own commentary. It is mwah, beautiful. It's pretty good. We'll get into that, yeah. I think, like after we get through the plot itself. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the plot, this is a fable? Fairy tale. Fairy tale? It's a Brothers Grimm's tale. Brothers Grimm. Yeah. So... There's a mill owner, and he's got three sons or apprentices. I, I just want to say, we when we looked up the title of this film, we're like, huh, wonder what this is going to be about. And then we started the movie, and both of us were like, oh, this is going to be Puss in Boots. Miller Boy, Kitten, this is going to be Puss, Puss in Boots. And then we got about, <laughs> yeah, then we got about 15 minutes in, and we're like, you know, this really isn't moving quick enough if this is gonna be Puss in Boots. Yeah. It's really taking its time with the whole uh, Miller boy thing. Mm -hmm. So it's not Puss in Boots. No. It, it's literally the Miller and the Kitten. Yeah. Or something like that. Anyways, there's three sons or apprentices. There's two older ones who are large, they drink a lot, they're lazy, they're abusive. And then the younger one, who's kind of stupid, he's hardworking, he's always happy, you know, our main character. Mm -hmm. um, so the the guy that runs the mill is getting old, he's like, all right, one of you guys needs to take over. So whoever brings me the best horse wins. So they all take off. Uh, the two older ones, obviously. I don't know what an old man wants with a horse. He can take it and get away with it, or he can sell it. There's a lot you can do with a, a nice horse in I, those days. I guess. It's just, it seems like a very random stipulation. Like, I'm sure there's some very reasonable explanation as to why he wants like, the horse. Like, yes, a, a horse is valuable in general, but just like, I, I don't know. I like. I don't know specifically what a cripple, crippling old man would want with a horse. I think it's just a very prized Possession. Possession to have. Yeah. When right. you, you own a mill. Yeah. It's a good thing to have. Mm hmm. So, the two older boys ditch the younger kid. Uh, the younger kid finds and befriends cartoon lightning bug. Uh, yeah, Firefly. Mm hmm. Uh, and Which also, changes in size dramatically the, uh, forever. Let's talk about the. The art direction and animation on this film for just a little bit. But, like, we're not done with the plot. That's okay. Okay. It's not great. 
it's not the worst we've ever seen. No. It feels very much like this should have been made 30 to 40 years ago. You mean earlier than when it was? Yeah, like, okay. like if this film was made back in the 40s, it would have been on par with a lot of other things we were seeing at yeah. that time. Um, I would even say early 60s. Yeah. Especially seeing as this seems to be one of the first movies coming out of the country. Mm -hmm. Now, like you just said, it is the first movie coming out of this country, so I don't want to be too harsh. Like, mm -hmm. it's probably a bunch of really young and inexperienced animators. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of problems with just like, the animation's not great, the, um, <laughs> the character sizes change a lot. Anyway, continue. So the main character is approached by a cat, a kitten, who is black with yellow spots. Mm -hmm. Very bizarre design. Mm -hmm. And she's like, hey, I heard you need a horse. Complete me these tasks three and I shall grant you the best horse that ever existed. Yeah. And the kid's like, okay. All right, I promise. Cool. Uh, so the first, she, she, this small kitten also has like five or six, it changes, number of sibling kittens mm -hmm. that all look fairly similar in like weird cartoon style. Uh, <laughs> they pop into being different colors when somebody on the cell team mixes up the paints and starts painting them a different color yeah. randomly. So he has three tasks. The first one is to chop a bunch of wood with a silver axe mm -hmm. and evil cat for no reason is like i'm gonna stop you i'll give you a good horse right now if you don't do this if you give me that axe uh-huh and the boy's like be gone and he's gone and he completes the task be gone cat i want to say be gone thought i know <laughs> uh and the next task is uh mowing a field with a sickle same thing happens. Give me your golden thing and I'll give you a, a horse. Nah, I'm just going to do the job. Mm -hmm. And the last one is build a shed for all the wood and uh, wheat, grass. grass you've now chopped. Mm -hmm. He does it. And then the cat's like, ha I was the middle pillar all along because I can transform and stuff. And the, the apprentice is like, I knew it was you. And then he uses the axe to destroy the other foundation and it crushes the cat to death yeah so goodbye evil cat and then the kittens disappear as well mm-hmm but and before, then they're like but as they disappear they like appear in his mind space and they're like go back to the mill we'll get you job. your horse yeah. yeah go back to the mill we'll get you your horse and he's like all right cool so he goes back the other two guys show up with really bad horses uh, like the one's teeth fall out and the other one doesn't have a proper tail and I don't even... Since it's he's... not a real horse, So I but... have no idea what it's supposed I don't know. to be. Like, is it a donkey? I don't know. Either way, suddenly a beautiful carriage shows up with drawn by like majestic horses and out walks Princess Kitten. Pr mm. Princess who was the kitten because... Mm. Doing those tasks has somehow freed her and her siblings from being kittens. Cats, I guess? And she's like, here's your reward, this gorgeous horse. And the old man's like, cool, you get the mill. And the boy's like, nah, fam, I get the girl. <laughs> yeah, he's like, never mind, you can keep the mill. Princess, let's get married. And she's like, hell yeah. And then they ride away in the carriage. <laughs> And everyone else is stuck with the mill and, I guess, the good horse. Uh-huh. <laughs> and the two bad brothers are left to do all the work and stuff. Yeah. So, a pretty basic story. Really took a left turn with the whole princess being a cat and then they get married. Uh -huh. And he doesn't even get the mill at the end. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he gets something better. He doesn't have to work anymore. Yeah. It's he doesn't just... get some crappy mill. He gets a princess. Mm -hmm. So, because I've never heard of this fairy tale before, like ever. Yes, same. I went ahead and I uh, found a version of 
this, the poor Miller's boy and the cat, and I read it okay. so that I could see what the differences are between it and this movie. Okay. Are, are you ready? Sure. Okay. So, in the original story, the one that I read, um... Obviously, it's a fairy tale, so I feel like it's pretty safe to say that, like, details of this could be different depending on what one you look up. Brothers sure. Groom kind of, like, standardized a lot of them, but, like, you could still find different variants of the same thing. Anyway, uh, it, it said that the apprentices aren't really lazy or that the last one is particularly a harder worker. It seems to almost imply that the protagonist is the lazy one. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Uh, or or at least is someone who, like, they just don't believe in at all. Um, like, even the old man doesn't like him. Hmm. And so then he goes and he finds the kitten out in the woods. And the same kind of spiel happens, except instead of doing three tasks... He agrees to be, like, her indentured servant slave for seven years. Okay. And it's still the th three tasks that he does, but nevertheless, the seven years had gone by with him as if they were six months. So I don't know what the significance is of the time frame. What does that even mean? Yeah, I don't know. Um, there is no evil cat to, like, tempt him or anything like that. Okay. And then when they get back, it's still the same conclusion of... Oh, oh, and instead of him just, like, like living with the cat for a little while, it's the cat transports him to a magical kingdom of cats. Okay. Where she is a princess. Okay. Sure. And then at the end, it also makes no distinction that the princess ever turned into a human. She's um, just a princess cat. And he marries a princess cat. Yeah. He marries a furry. Yeah. Yeah. And good for him, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, that's pre that's pretty much all it. Um, the the end line of this is: after this, let no one ever say that anyone who is silly can never become a person of importance. Cool. That's the line it ends with. <laughs> all right. Uh, Which is definitely like the opposite kind of message going on in this movie. Yeah, this one is. The hardworking idiot will eventually get what they want. Or, it, like, hard work pays off in the end, and you'll get the girl for d doing the hard work and uh -huh. stuff. Which, I mean, gee, I wonder why they would change it to that message. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, some of the fun uh, translation things. Yes. Um, is full of internet memes. <laughs> like, uh, for some reason, when... One of the guys brings his horse back. He's like, this is my waifu. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, sorry, what? What? Um, and Here then, at the end is where they really get yeah. silly with the translation. Mm -hmm. uh, at some point, the guy, when he's like saying, I don't want the horse anymore. I'm going to take the girl. Mm -hmm. It says in like upper and lowercase lettering, just like a mess, uh -huh. like... The prize all along was a girl instead of a horse. And, you're like, and the true prize was a girl <laughs> was all along. Was getting the girl all along. <laughs> or something like that. And as he's stepping into the carriage, it simply says, laughs in East German. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because everyone starts laughing. Oh, it's so funny. Uh, oh, man. Whoever translated that, bless your soul. That was good. Because they got to the end of the movie, they're like, whatever, I'm going to be. <laughs> I wonder if they were watching the movie and translating at the same time. And so they get to that part at the end, and it just threw them for a loop. And they're, they're like, like, what? They just okay. go nuts. All right. <laughs> All right. Cool. Because that's how I feel like I would do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Either way, I 
There's I, yeah. not a lot to yeah. this movie. If you want to watch it, sure, go ahead. I'm yeah, like I don't think it's really super worthwhile, other than the fact that it's like one the of subtitles the first, at the end are pretty good. It's the first German film we've seen in a really, 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 really long time since yeah. I think 1927. Yeah, that's in the first one. Mm-hmm. So there's that. There's that. Um, yeah, it's cool to see Germany come back. Uh, <laughs> Either than that. There's, there's a lot of... This movie's very slow paced. It's a 50 minute movie, but it's... You feel every single minute of those 50 <laughs> minutes. Um, yeah. There's a lot of sleeping in this movie. There's like three or four sleeping scenes in a 50 minute movie, which is just stupid. Mm-hmm. I think that's it, though. Yeah, I, th I think that's it. So, next time, uh huh. Uh, we're either jumping to the first movie of 1972, if you're watching this sometime in the future, or if you're watching these episodes as they come out, we're actually going to the three-year wrap-up, because we've watched enough movies, we're going to compare and contrast all of them together. It's time for the Lizard and Cat Awards show. Yes, we're going to talk about movies from... We're going to do a wrap-up of the 1970s, 1971, 1972. Yes. So and see you guys then. Yeah, give us like a week. Mm -hmm. We're going we're gonna to take the break before that episode comes out as compared to after because it's going to take some time for this episode. Yeah. So see you guys then. Bye-bye.